How's it going guys, it's Syndrome back with another Splinter Cell Chaos Theory walkthrough video. Uh, I have a little bit of a disclaimer to make. The last video that I made, um, it, I said that it was in hard mode because hard mode was the hardest difficulty in the last two games. These are actually on expert difficulty. So that was a mess up on my part, I apologize. I'm rectifying that now. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the second mission. It's going to be mission number two, cargo ship on expert difficulty. Still the complete ghost experience. Uh, no knockouts at all, no kills, um, no alerts, nothing like that. We don't want people to even know that we are on the ship at all. That is our goal. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo. All right, we're going to skip that. Go right into the loadout and, like the mission before, stealth loadout. Here we go. Fisher, we just pulled up Simistinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Alright, so like you saw right at the beginning, we're going to stand up and just run over to the left. And we're going to make our way all the way over here. Drop down, but be careful. Sometimes that guard there is closer to us. We're going to hop over the railing, and we are going to want our pistol, and we're going to wait a couple seconds before we OCP this light. Then we're going to head quickly over here and get as far into this corner as you can, and we're going to OCP this light, get on our night vision goggles. And then walk forward with him and quickly into the corner as he starts to turn. Otherwise, he will see you. So if you want to save right there, you can go ahead and pop a save. But uh, it's not too difficult, but it can be a little bit tricky until you get the timing down. So we're going to wait until he has one foot at the bottom of the stairs like he has now. Let him take another step and open this door. Otherwise, he'll hear it and he'll turn around and look. Scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. So now we're just gonna slide through here, and there's the first crate. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. Alright. So now we're gonna get up on these boxes if we can. Come on. There we go. Get up on these boxes, and we're gonna try to make our way toward that ladder. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. So we're going to get over here and we're going to open this door here. Alright, when we get inside, we're going to OCP this light. Climb up on the table and hop up into the vent. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. This part is very timing sensitive, I guess you you could say. Um, it is timed. The light will come back on very quickly. This next one that we're going to OCP. So. 
make sure that when you OCP this light, you are ready to go. So hop over this railing. I don't know how these stupid thing works. And they're gonna talk, and when the guy down at the bottom says "easy for you to say," that's when we wanna OCP this light. Do it wrong, we might sink faster. Then don't do it wrong. Easy for you to say. There we go. There was something there just a moment ago. Then drop down and activate the pumps. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to the certain ship. All right. You'll want to hustle here to get through the door because this light comes back on pretty quickly. You see it flicker there. We don't want him to see us. And we're just going to make our way down the hallway and in the room to our right. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. All right, right up here at the top, in the middle, on that box is the bill of lading. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Mercantile Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Alright, we're just gonna get down here. We're gonna crawl underneath these pipes here. And you can hop out right here. You had a look around this boat? Now, we don't want to come this way until the guy farthest away from us turns around. Like that. Now we can head down here. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. It's kind of ghastly. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine and don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. All right. So we're going to head around this way. You have to wait for him to get to the big part of the catwalk. Otherwise, he's going to see you down here. And we're trying to be as discreet as possible, obviously. Just gonna make our way all the way around to these pipes that are on the wall. We'll climb up this right one. And you can drop off onto this ledge here. Alright, we're gonna follow that guy to our right up the steps, but don't go all the way up, otherwise, when he turns around, he'll start walking toward us and he'll see us. So you want to hang back just a little bit. Just keep making our way around. And then at this corner, we're going to want to wait until he turns to his left and starts walking away. Because we need to get in that door to his right. And there he goes. Now here we're going to want to be careful because there's a guy over to the right here and when he goes through that door we're going to get all the way up to this corner and then we're just going to get on that wall in front of us. Wait here. I recommend popping a save because this part is actually quite difficult. But when he comes out of here, sometimes he'll see you, sometimes he won't. So. Hey, 
and he didn't. So get in here very quickly, but still quietly, because if that door closes and you try to slide it back open, that guard will hear it, and he will turn around, and you will get shot. So here's the other crate. Close the doors behind us. Now we're going to get up here to the corner and we're going to wait again because the guard is going to be coming back this way and as soon as he gets past us we're going to want to make for that far wall and do it pretty quickly because it doesn't take him long to turn around. So pretty much as soon as he gets past you go ahead and start heading. Alright, now when he starts walking away from us we're going to go up these steps. So far, so good. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. There's a crawl space here that's kind of hard to see. If you have your night vision on, it'll be easier to find. Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone got his trouble. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. All right. Mm -hmm. Use your binoculars on this computer. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know. And the I transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikariakov in Malaysia. Nikariakov. I remember that name. Nikariakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arm shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Okay, Sam. Judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. Alright, we're gonna head up to this door up here, and when I get up here, I'm gonna pop a save. Just so I don't have to redo any of that stuff. Alright. I'm gonna use the optic cable under the door. Hey, Toma. Have you seen and when the guy on the left but I heard him yelling turns to his left and starts walking into the little kitchen that's area, that's here. when we're gonna go through the door. What was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. Alright, we can back out. Head through the door. Close it and pull out our pistol. OCP this light right here. I saw something down there. And we're gonna get over to the left a little bit, and as soon as the pistol charges back up, we're gonna OCP this light. Is it meant to act like that? Alright. Now we're going to want to head through so that he doesn't realize where we're at. And here's another crate here. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. And as long as we're quick enough, right now he's actually looking away from us. Keep it together. We can get around this corner. Yeah. You know what I don't understand. And through the door here on the left. And then on the back side of these stairs is another crate for us. Alright. We are going to go in the door to the left and head all the way down and up the stairs at the back. Now I'll be quiet up here because there are guys up here. And we're going to wait for that captain right there in front of us to turn to the right and start walking off before we go through this door over here. And again, be sure you close it behind you. Now we're not going to go up those stairs because there's a guard up there. 
So we're gonna stay down here and just circle around to a ladder that's over here on the side. Head up here. And in here. Now we're going to put our back up against this wall here and we are going to wait because the guys that are talking outside of here, there's going to be a guy that, that when they're done that walks by that door there to our right and when he walks by we're going to count for just a few seconds but walk to that wall to our left. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can get, head over here to the wall. About eight seconds. I usually do about eight or nine. And then as soon as you, as long as your back is against that wall, right afterwards, he walks very slowly to go check out where the sound was from, and you can access his computer. So Lacera is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, fourth side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. No signs of anything here. All right. Now, uh, I think we have enough time. I'm going to go back and close this door. There, just being polite. I opened it, so I'll close it. Now, as long as that guy's gone, we can hop over this railing here. And we're going to make our way back the way that we came. We're going to want to be kind of close to this guy here in front of us. But not too close, because we don't want him to spot us, obviously. So he's going to go up the ladder to his left. So we're just going to kind of wait here for him to do that. Then we can head in. And in this door. Close the door, and as long as you stay in the dark, you can actually hop over this railing here. And head back down the hallway. And over into this room here. Make sure you leave this door open. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, for my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. All right, so we're going to interrogate Hugo Lacerda. Let me see. So when he comes to check out this little mini fridge in here, we're going to sneak up behind him and grab him. Now, to make this conversation shorter, we're going to take him out through this door and into the little stairwell here. Otherwise, you'll have conversations with the people in the room he was just in, and we don't need all that. That's just extra hubbub we don't need. Shh. Don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt. Your goons tortured him to death, and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. 
primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. So I knocked him out. I did not kill him, um, but it still counts. So now we're going to walk over here and close this door and head back down the hall that we have been down twice already. Be careful going up here this time because sometimes there will be a guy looking this way, but we're safe. Now make sure you close this door this time. And we're gonna head right up here and in this little alcove on the right. Now we can go ahead and go up these steps. Around to the back side and we will get the, uh, the last crate here. Right down here. Uh, I love the smell of the ocean air. All I smell is burning oil and bubbles. That was the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected La Serena is. Enjoy it while you Now we can just jump up here and climb over the railing. Never heard of anybody getting scurvy. And right up this ladder is the extraction. And there you have it guys, all primary objectives, secondary objectives, opportunity objectives, and bonus objectives completed. None were canceled. And all zeros, zero times identified as intruders, zero alarms triggered, zero bodies found, and zero civilians and enemies knocked out, injured, or killed except for that one, but he apparently doesn't count. So there you have it guys, 100% stealth on the second mission, cargo ship, 100% success rate. If this helped you at all, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already subscribed to the channel. It helps us out a lot. And click that notification bell to get notified of all new videos posted to the channel. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.